Hi, I'm Sumerio from Honor Plugins and uh, today I'm about to show you uh, how to use uh, the arpeggiator modes with uh, our Hatefish Regenerator. Regenerator is a new Euclidean uh, rhythm sequencer that can be used to create uh, almost every rhythm in Western music and uh, uh, you can do it very easily using the few controls it has. Uh, um, it's a, a sequencer that provides you with 16 different lanes that can be assigned, assigned to 16 different uh, MIDI channels, of course. And uh, each of the sequencers can work in different modes. Today we are going to focus on the arpeggiators uh, so that you can uh, uh, use your keyboard to input notes and uh, have them arpeggiated. For this example, I'll use uh, the computer keyboard in Ableton Live and uh, uh, I'm going now to set up the session so you will see how to use uh, this feature. So uh, we have our regenerator here and uh, we'll add it to a MIDI track. I use the VST version right now uh, because the audio unit only works in Logic Pro X since it's a MIDI effect, effect sorry, and uh, I have the first lane enabled and I'm going to choose Arpeggiator Up mode. It turns green to indicate that we are using the Arpeggiator Up. And then I need to set up the MIDI routing. So I have already had set up a, a simple uh, synth sound here in uh, its own track. So I choose uh, the Hitfish um, Regenerator from the MIDI from drop down and the MIDI straight from the regenerator itself. To hear something, we need to set the session on play because regenerator only works while the session is playing. So I toggle the play mode and it starts scanning the steps of the sequencer. So if I press one uh, of the keys of the keyboard, right, it will arpeggiate the input. So this is a simple C major and it's arpeggiated uh, with a 1 16 of note uh, division because we decided to have a speed set at 1 16 and we have 16 steps and 16 bits. If I want to make stuff more interesting, I can, uh, for example, reduce the number of beats. So I get 10 beats in 16 subdivision with each of the notes uh, with a speed of 1 16th. So I have this uh, subdivision here that is more rhythmically interesting. can also uh, change the speed, for example, so it's each fourth, each quarter note. Or use some old speed, like, for example, uh, 14th note. get back to 1 16th. It's almost the standard for this kind of stuff. Then, uh, for example, I can set more steps, like 24 steps, and keep 12, or keep the same 10 bits. Let's get interesting. can also choose the arpeggiator down mode and it's going to play the notes from the highest to the lowest. Or make some chord, that means playing all the notes together uh, and playing a chord using this subdivision of time. If I, for example, 
choose something like this. We get a classic dance division. So it's very simple to get interesting rhythms and interesting sounds. We can also use the shift parameter to move uh, all this uh, uh, full square here, that means a note is playing, um, into uh, the future, um, moving uh, all the sequence to the right, so uh, you, get, you can create up beats, for example. Of course, each parameter here can be automated from the host, so you can create automation on the number of beats, the number of shift, you can speed up or slow down the sequence. So you have a lot of uh, um, possibilities to create sounds and uh, uh, interesting rhythms. So this is Hatefish Regenerator. You can uh, download it uh, on uh, www.honeplugins.com. Uh, you can uh, try it out uh, for 15 days and if you want uh, to let us know uh, what, what you think about it, feel free to drop us a note. Thank you very much for watching the video.